Ladies and gentlemen, welcome John Warden. You'd like to add to what Al had to say at all? What did Al say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, my main job during the year had hot dogs and peanuts and some uh, things down there. But it was a great thrill for me, a 21-year-old kid from Central Ohio. I grew up on a farm and to come to the big city, which was the fourth largest city back then in the nation. And to just have a chance to be associated with these guys and, and watch them play every day was a great thrill. And uh, I've had a lot of people tell me, come up and say, thanks for saving our city. And they, they meant it. I mean, that's how, how great this team was and how the racial tension subsided. Winning heals a lot of wounds. We started winning. And if they'd had me up in 67, we'd have gone back to back. <laughs> Tell us that story. That's it. The April story. Huh? Beginning of the year, I happened to have the good fortune to uh, get in the game early, second day of the season, and relief of Denny. And uh, pitched the eighth and ninth inning against Boston. Struck out Yaz, two outs in the ninth. Gator come up in the bottom of the ninth and uh, hit a home run off John Wyatt. We win the ball game. And I fortunate enough to get the win. First win in my career. Two days later, came in, faced Cleveland, got a guy out, free end through a guy out of second. Horton got a hit, we win, and I'm 2-0. and We go to Chicago, game of the week, bases loaded. I come in, we're up one run. The only way I can get a win is walk a guy in. So I walked Wayne Causey, and now the game's tied up. And Ken Boyer's the next hitter, so I thought I'd be out of the game because lefty gets righty. So I looked over at the dugout of Mayo, and he was, uh, how are we doing? And so I guess I was going to throw it. Looked like I was throwing to Ken Boyer. So I hung the curveball. I should have yelled, look out, Coyote. And uh, hit a shot to third base. Work caught it, stepped on third. Top of the tenth. Whoop. Horton hits it, knocks in a couple guys. We win a ball game, I'm 3-0, and and Lolich was tickled to death about it. He, he wanted to know when my bubble was going to burst, and a guy from Sports Illustrated was there, and he said, hey, you pitched three and a third innings, you're 3-0. and What kind of year do you think you're going to have? I said, I should win 45, 50 games. <laughs> What's your guy's reaction when you found out that Mr. Lolich was going to pitch game seven on two days rest? Were you confident, or were you a little worried? Well... I talked to Mayo before the game, and Mayo's going, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, here's what we're going to do, Mick. But, uh, no, Mickey went out there, and he was a little shocked. He was on two days rest. But Mayo hadn't sobered up yet from game six. And uh, so he still had that little flask, and, you know, and, uh, and he said, go get him, Lolo. That's pretty much it. Baltimore, everybody liked to beat Earl Weaver. <laughs> Little Mickey Rooney. <laughs> I had a perfect game going for a one and two thirds innings. <laughs> and then uh, sort of wheels came off. Be surprised. What was the bonus that you guys got individually for winning the World Series? $10,936.26. They make that now for $10,936. How much you guys get? They got $8,000. Oh, bullshit. That's what you cleared after it. They had to take taxes out. He's from Canada. He's got to count like one, two, three, four. And no, we didn't take steroids either. Yes, Tell you where... They were that year, that week, that day that you guys won. Frequently, I'm assuming. Hey, Denny. Denny. Do you notice it's always the old women that love us? Huh? Yeah. You know, hey, you look familiar. Did I leave you tickets in 68? I think I, think I left her a couple tickets, Ray. 